guess we're having a little vacuum party in my house today. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, hi, Dexter. Hi, Dexter. Here's Dexter. He's gonna bite my finger. Yep. I just got up not too long ago. I'm having my coffee. Rise and shine. And now you're wondering, oh my god, why is your face pink? Oh, ew, ew, ew. Don't look at it. I also know you're wondering, no, I did not get a haircut. I got them all cut. Who's calling me? From Paige, Arizona. Goodbye. Oh, I'm wearing the wild shirt today. There we go. I look like Zach Cornfield. I'm gonna put this over here because I'm prone to spillage. I am working on my next record and Come Through is a part of that record. So I'm redoing the mix so that it fits better within the master. But uh, should we do a little studio tour? Because I just redid the studio again. We have all my monitors back here. That's basically so that I can get as many references while I'm mixing. Because all monitors sound different. Some people are gonna be listening to it in their headphones. If you have like Beats Studio headphones, they're gonna sound completely different than Apple AirPods, which are gonna sound different than Raycon earbuds, which reminds me, this video is sponsored. <laughs> so basically the things that I wanted to work on. The bass was way too much, which then made the vocals not loud enough. There's just a lot going on. So I simplified it because sometimes simple is the best. So that's basically that. I'm going to continue on this until I can no longer look at it for the day. Hello there. Can I interest you in enlargement pills? <laughs> I've been having a great morning so far, and then it got even better because you know what? You wanna know why? I got mail about my student loans! You've got mail. Applying at the curtains because I cannot fall asleep. I've wanted to do this for a little while, and I kinda did it dumb, but I did it half ass because I just did it quickly. But I wouldn't really like spend some time on it and make it look good. This wall is fing boring. It like it looks nice. There's something missing. There's like this big empty space here. There's a tank with nothing in it. I wanna put something in it soon. What do you think I should get? I was thinking maybe a crested gecko. I thought about doing a day gecko, but anyway, that's not the point of this video. I have a point, I promise. Then make it. I'm gonna put some vinyls mm. up on the wall. I wanna put some across here too, like behind that shelf. I'm gonna move this. Look how strong I am. It's also like. God damn it. I didn't even drop it. I literally just picked it up and it imploded. I literally just like picked it up and. It... At least nobody got hurt. Uh. <clears throat> Great. First, I had to pay my student loans. Now I'm breaking shit. Well, I don't know if I got any of that, but I did a really funny segment while I was taking everything off of this wall. This is a disaster. I hope my emotional turmoil is entertaining for you. But I've taken everything off of the shelves, and now I'm using this as my opportunity to clean the wall. Cinderella dressed in yellow. Okay, so I just realized that I have a bunch of other that I can hang on this wall. I have this note that one of my friends wrote that I kept. I have this Polaroid of Elliot and I. My plane ticket from Paris. I have a couple metro tickets from Paris. I have this postcard that Ariel sent me from Rome. I have this giant four leaf clover that I found. I have a ton of pictures from disposable cameras. I love this one of me and my friend Allison at the 1975 concert. My friend John took the picture and we weren't ready and I think it's so funny. This is me and my friend Dylan and his dog on the beach. <laughs> me and Bestie. That my best friend. I have this one of me looking hot as fuck. Remember my blonde phase? Sometimes I miss my blonde phase and then I remember what that was like. But since I have all the other stuff now, I think I'm gonna abandon my plan of putting all the vinyls up in like an organized manner. I think I'm still gonna start with the vinyls though. And I think we need to start with the almighty. She needs her place of honor. Okay. Oh, 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 I just fell. I just fell and you guys did nothing about it. I need a hat. This is probably my favorite album by the Chili Peppers. They were my favorite band growing up. Right here. Slap! Slap! Okay, I think I'm just gonna do like a little time lapse so then you don't have to watch this whole thing. So this is what we have. And I did leave some space in some spots so then I can put up more stuff that I get in the future. But I think it looks pretty good. I think like this section right here is my favorite. I do want to put like, I know I have some concert tickets somewhere. I just got to dig them out and find them. So now I'm going to put everything back on the shelves and we're going to call it a day. I do think the shelves looked really good how they were. So I'm not going to change anything about them. Oh, I also got a blister on my thumb from pushing the thumbtacks into the walls. So I love that for me. That's camp. Doesn't that look nice? Doesn't that look nice? I was having a rough week, so I decided to redecorate my bedroom. Hello, it's your favorite chaotic plant parent back for another round. Today I'm going to give you a little update on my plant collection because it's been a while. I'll probably have to do another update next week when my collection 
triples. You know what? I could go on and on and on, but we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna keep it camp, and we're just gonna have fun with it. We're gonna pull up into Sri Lanka. What's this video gonna be about? Divorce, babe. Divorce. Divorce, babe. Divorce. We're gonna start out with the type of plant that I have the most of. My favorite of all time. I love them so much. Philodendrons. I have a bunch. I want more. They're really easy to find. They're really easy to care for. They're like medium light. They really like to dry out between waterings, and they're perfect for beginner plant keepers, especially you forgetful waterers out there. Now there are two categories of philodendrons. We have climbing philodendrons, which are the long viney boys, and we have, wait for it, non-climbing philodendrons, which are the big leafy boys. Comment below if you're a long viney boy or a big leafy boy. I think I'm definitely a long viney boy myself. I think my drag name would be Philodendron, but I have a lot of them. I have Miss Rosa the Rojo Congo, Maria the Imperial Green, Mitch the Macaulay's Fino, Willow the Brazil, Amanda the Golden Goddess, Meredith the Hartley, Carlisle the Lemon Lime Hartley, Poppy the Prince of Orange, Thomas the Jungle Boogie, Ooh, Jungle Boogie, Electric Boogaloo, <laughs> Sydney the Moonlight, and Clyde the Gigantium. Next up on the list, we have the group that I have the second most amount of. Can I get a Hoya? I have a lot of Hoyas. They're also very easy to take care of. Hoyas are pretty much long viney boys with waxy leaves and gorgeous flowers. Gorgeous flowers, honey! None of mine are blooming right now, which is sad. But nonetheless, I have June the Tricolor, Claire the Chelsea, Alfred the Ratusa, Nicholas the String Bean. That's me. Steven the Pubicalyx, Daphne the Crimson Princess. That's my drag name, Crimson Princess. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Crimson Princess. I have Bertha the Macrophila. Is that it? Oh no. Oh, there's Pearl back. Pearls are Compacta. That's all I got for Hoyas. Let's move on to my anthuriums. I only have two anthuriums right now. I have Katya the Plumanii and Joshua the Super Bum. Super Bum. You got a Super Bum. I could see your bum crap. <laughs> They're similar to the non-climbing philodendrons, so they're basically just big leafy boys. They're a bit harder to find, especially in like big box stores, but if you check some like specialty greenhouses, you should be able to find some. They like it warm, bright, humid, they like to dry out between waterings. <laughs> Are you noticing a pattern here? And <laughs> the types of plants that I can keep alive. And they're another type of aeroid like philodendrons. And our next group, Riffidophorus. I have Richard the Hay Eye, Kyle the Dragon Tail, Decursiva, whatever you want to call it, and Ella the Tetrasperma. When I go somewhere and I see somebody call it the Mini Monstera or the Philodendron Ginny, journal straight to jail. I'm coming to your house. And I'm they're long viney boys with the coolest leaves you can imagine. Very similar care to the rest of the plants that I talked about. What did I tell you about the pattern? But speaking of monsteras, I have Conan right here. You're so big. I love you. Conan's my monstera delicioso. He's my pride and joy. My everything. I love him more than I love myself. I remember I got him right before like everybody started getting monsteras. I'm a trendsetter basically. Yes, I'm the first person to ever get a monstera. And then I got him. He was like not much smaller than he is now because I chopped him up a bunch. I wish I never chopped him. Oh my god, he would be huge. <gasps> but I found him and I started crying in the greenhouse. And there was an old white woman staring at me like, uh, like I'm on exhibit at the Smithsonian. Take a picture, it'll last longer. Let's move on to some pothos. Uh, two different kinds. No, three. <gasps> I three. And when I say pothos, I'm talking about long viney boys. Two different kinds that I have at least. We have epipremnums, which are your classic golden pothos, and I have an epipremnum Cebu blue. And then I have a scandapsis pick, and then I have a scandapsis pick, and then I have a skip. Oh my god, I can't say it. Say it five times fast, say it once slow, and try not to have a stroke. I have a Scandapsis Pictus Exotica. His name's Eugene. We love him. Let's talk about cacti. I got some little prickly boys. I got some big spiny boys. I have this one, this one, and this one. I think we have to address the elephant in the room. It, um... Do I have to spell it out for you? No, I did not buy it for this reason. It started to grow like this after it was in my care. I think it looks like Patrick Starr. Or the cucumber from VeggieTales. Do you guys know about VeggieTales? Did you go to Catholic school? Were you traumatized? I don't know the names of cacti. If you do, l l l let me know. I love learning. Oh my god. I love when people say that. Have you ever met someone who's like, No, I hate learning. But I love cacti. They're like, they're like living rocks. You do nothing and they thrive. Give them lots of light. I water them like when I feel like it. Now let's talk about Margaret. We need to talk about Kevin. <laughs> Margaret's my pitcher plant. She's also one of my prides and joys. Pride, prides and joys. Pride, pride and joys. Prides and joy. They're not that difficult to keep alive, but it's really difficult to get them to thrive and even more difficult to get them to pitcher. I'm not stressed out about it. I'm not stressed. You're stressed. She has one little teeny tiny pitcher right now and it's so cute. Uh, she's a diva, so she only gets rainwater. Hopefully, she'll put out some pictures soon. The little tendrils are growing. She is, she is the moment. Now, come on now. Let's talk about the other babies I got. First, we have Stephanie, the Alocasia California. In the summer, I put her outside, and she goes nuts. Go crazy, go stupid. Then I have Matthew, my fiddly fig. I also put him outside in the summer, and last year, he got a little bit shumper. But he's coming back. He's growing new leaves. He's not getting quite as much light as he should be. He's still growing. Don't judge me, Brenda. Go season your chicken, Brenda. Then I have Mariah, the Maranta. I have Trixie, my really sad Calathea. She's She's doing so well for the longest time, and I used to brag all about how I could keep a Calathea without the leaves turning brown. <sighs> well, you know what they say. 
I don't know what they say. That's why I was asking you. I have Juliet, my string of hearts, my little pepperoni queen. <gasps> I forgot my ferns. <gasps> this shows you how much I like ferns. Ferns are sensitive little boys. They thrive in low light with a lot of moisture and a lot of humidity. They do really great in terrariums. I have a bird's nest fern. I have a staghorn fern. That was the start of my mealybug problem. Then I have a couple in my terrarium with my Pac-Man frog, who's doing incredible, by the way. Thank you for asking. But their care requirements make a lot of sense if you think about it. Because where do they grow? Where do they I feel, oh my God, I feel like Dora. And where do they grow? They grow along the forest floor where all the light is filtered through the canopy of the trees. So they're in shady spots that aren't getting a lot of light. So the soil is also bound to be moist majority of the time. Is that neat? Oh my God, I look like, isn't that neat? <laughs> That's about all I got. That's about all I got left in me. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the most chaotic videos I've made in a long time. But anyway, my name is Ethan and you're watching Disney Channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and check out all my music. All those links are in the description below. Make sure to wash your hands, pee after sex, and stay out of other people's business. I love you. I will see you next week. Probably. I'm busy. I got stuff going on. Stuff you don't know about. All right, bye.